Mike Ray from StreamingChurch.tv. Happy New Year, all. Uh, I want to cover what many of you are looking at and should be looking at this time of year. Uh, this should be a regular routine, looking at your analytics or your reporting uh, for your streaming page. And so I just wanted to cover a few of the components uh, of the report. Uh, I, most of it is self-explanatory. Uh, attendance, average time viewed, how many chats you had, uh, total attendance. Uh, this is total attendance for this span, uh, last 30 days, and last 12 months. Um, as you may have noticed, uh, it defaults to daily, but if you need to move to weekly, uh, you can see that here. And here is each week of the, the uh, year. You should be able from this, this is an important one, to see when your peaks are and making sure that everything is in order for Easter, for Christmas, for other big event times when you're going to have a lot of people on the online platform. You may need extra online hosts to help uh, engage everyone. Uh, and then you can move that to monthly as well. Same kind of reason, looking at your peaks Obviously, it makes sense for um, the big peaks being Easter, Mother's Day, back to school, and Christmas usually. Those are times when you want to pay special interest because people are coming back to church or people are coming to church for the first time. And uh, we want to make sure that we have our best strategy in place. So all of these analytics begin to build your plan for 2022 if you don't already have it. Uh, and we'll help you with that. We do have a webinar coming up next month uh, where we're going to really help you hone uh, your goals and your plans and your strategy for your streaming church, uh, your church online streaming uh, it should be a really great webinar. We've got a lot of experts on the panel who will be able to speak to many, many years of ministry and a lot of it being in church online and how to begin to help your grow within the strategy that you as an organization uh, have. What is it that you want to accomplish with your streaming service online? And we'll help you do that. We've got a lot of tools. And sometimes out of these strategy sessions, uh, many of you have made suggestions. And we have added those suggestions as tools to help us connect with people in a relational way to help them come back and help them take a next step and help them move forward and become part of the organization uh, and helping you grow the organization as you move forward. So uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us uh, on reporting. If you don't understand any of the reports, this is the basic page. There are uh, different tools available that you want to look at. Another one of my favorites that I suggest often is make sure you know what your attendance is by device. Uh, how many people watch your services from... A phone so for instance uh, this particular organization uh, you might be shocked to know that you have substantially more mobile viewers than you have computer viewers so is your setup or are your tools optimized your design your look uh, the features that you have available uh, is it optimized for people who are watching your service from a phone or from a tablet? Um, I would say this, this church, as many of you will be, is a mobile first. So your mobile experience has got to be the best that there is. That means your website has got to make it super easy for people to get to your streaming page. That means a single click. If they have to navigate 
multiple pages to get to the streaming page, you are missing traffic for, okay, I'm getting too far into strategy. So let me pull it back a little bit. But within that, take a look at these numbers and help that inform your decisions on how you're planning to grow your church online. Uh, church online is has become a critically vital tool to all churches and we want to optimize and increase how effective and how useful it can be uh, and many times by making some really small and simple changes to make it much more impacting for the people who attend your church and for people who are looking for a church to attend. So this has been Mike with StreamingChurch.tv. Happy New Year.